it changed the way teams defended him. I mean, there were no easy baskets. He was going to get fouled any time he got near the rim. Uh, they were going to make him earn his points at the line. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Tune in for a scary night of basketball. Halloween in the NBA. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers go up against the Chicago Bulls. Friday night, NBA Hoops. Be there. The Knicks leading by 10. The two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Amon Shepard is out there with Irving, and it's Mozgov in at the center position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Let's it go from 14. That's good. Bargnani's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Knicks. Well, Cleveland shooting a reasonable. well 45 percent LeBron dishes to Irving no good on the three and that'll increase their rebound advantage they've definitely been winning that battle on the boards well the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities and that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead the drive by Anthony and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Shumper gets a wide-open look. Second shot opportunity. That one's in there. The New York fleet is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Mozgov. He's doing his best to carry him, fellas, but he can only do so much. Things would be different for them if he was getting a little more help. Larkin kicks to Anthony, and stolen by Irving. Four on three as they bring it up. It's tipped. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Kevin Love, I think, solidifying his place last season among the best players in the world. A first-time starter in the All-Star game. And incredible numbers, 26 points, over 12 boards a game in the regular season. And GMs agree, voting Kevin Love the top power forward going into last season. He did nothing to dissuade him. I mean, he's a great scorer, and he's been in the top three in rebounding for three of the last four seasons. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Verizhao's checked in. Some nice passing by New York here. Shoots a fader. And that one hits back iron. Looked like he was maybe showboating a little bit. That fadeaway, really no reason for it. James with the bucket. He had his choice of finishing moves there, and you just got to love the fact he went old school with the finger roll. Free throw line jump shot. Calderon, that's good. And the Knicks lead by 10. Yeah, no problem knocking down that shot. And a little more damage inflicted on another defensive lapse. James kicks to Irving. Launches a three. The Knicks pull it in. But an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. For Cleveland, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Back to Shepard. Beyond the arc. And it's James missing. The Knicks leading by ten. And here's Calderon. Kicks it to Stoudemire. Dishes to Hardaway. He's looking for Calderon and finds him. And that one's good. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Cleveland's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Irving makes it off the glass. How about that? Going up strong. I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's given up. It's attitude with him. Knicks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. 
Anthony on the wing, covered by LeBron. Hardaway passes to Carmelo. Hardaway kicks to Calderon. Lock at six. Here's Bargnani. And it's Bargnani again missing. Oh, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. Outside jumper. Irving kicks to James. Another miss by James. New York with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game home stretch. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. New York calls timeout. Well, Nick's ownership guy is frustrated last season that Amon Shumpert didn't participate in the summer league. And, Steve, they were hoping he'd test out for some minutes at the point guard position. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. And we heard his name arise all season long in trade rumors. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Derek Fisher was giving to his team. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for more high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. And for Shumpert, his shooting numbers were down last season. He shot over 40% from long range in year two, but was down to 33% last season. That can happen sometime in the course of a career. Still good from the corners with Shumpert, but perhaps he shot too many from above the arc. Stoudemire dishes to Anthony. He feeds it to Bargnani. The pass to Stoudemire. Six on the shot clock. Hardaway for three. And it's Hardaway again missing. And guys, for Shumpert, well, he's got to improve his finishing around the rim. With his size and athleticism, I think he could be better scoring in the paint. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and claw their way back in. And they fed off their defense just as much as their offense in putting this run together. Now, here's Calderon out to the wing. Stoudemire the pass to Hardaway. Calderon kicks to Anthony. That falls. Nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. Calderon's got six assists now in the game. There's the dish to Shumpert. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Calderon with it. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That will be foul number five on him. Second team. Love against Stoudemire. He dishes it to Carmelo. Back to Stoudemire. Inside. Kicks it out to Bargnani. Five on the clock. Offline with his three. He's been wayward and just off one about everything he's put up in this period. Shoots from eight. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And that one misses. Kevin Love, an incredible rebounder. And it seems Steve he's brought that same desire and tenacity to his overall development as a player. Yeah, his commitment to his conditioning has been big. Uh, his development with his three-point shooting, uh, constantly working on his game, and he's become one of the big stars in this league by putting in the time and effort. Calderon dishes to Anthony, and stolen by LeBron. Jackson kicks to Love. Irving attacking, stolen by Bargnani. Now Stoudemire. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Irving has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Love. Rebounded by Hardaway. Hardaway has got four rebounds now tonight. The feed to Calderon. Back to Hardaway. Anthony against James. The baseline J. Anthony's shot is off. The Cavaliers trail by six. LeBron passes to Verizon. Outside Irving. A three ball. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. 
Anthony's got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the paint. And Calderon gets it to go on the assist from Hardaway. Hardaway has got assist number seven for him tonight. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game, Steve. Here is Calderon. Feeds it to Anthony. Pass to Hardaway. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Knicks lead by seven. Well, they haven't gotten much production from him, but they remain in the lead. Here's Jackson. And another three for Cleveland. They're simply living and dying from behind the arc in the second half. Jackson. I don't think that's the way to go here. They're trailing. The three-point shot can be used. They've got to balance it out. One twenty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Holderone dishes to Hardaway. Pass to Anthony. Cannot hit. Cavaliers go the other way with it. The drive by LeBron. That's good. Now just a two-point mix lead. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Outside Anthony. Fires at the elbow. No good. James with some nice D. He had a defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like that. New York's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. What an offensive force Stoudemire can be. Clark, no room for error Kevin here. Kevin's got to be perfect from here on out. You're exactly right. LeBron kicks to Irving. It's LeBron with the drive. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. Calderon passes to Carmelo. Out to Hardaway. Over to the left wing. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. And an intentional foul right there. Well, that took way too long. If they're trying to stretch this thing out, they shouldn't waste so much time. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Watch free throws there to ensure that they're going to go home with the W. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're losing by four. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And this one is far from over. If they can get a quick score here and then, and then a fast foul as well. I'll tell you what, free throws become tougher with the game on the line, so a few missed ones here, and they could get right back in it. New York calls timeout. They're up by one. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Huge free throws there, and that could be the difference. It will force more than likely a desperation three-point attempt. Five seconds left to play in the final quarter. No one near James as he lets it go. Marries the triple. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. LeBron James. Time expires and we're going to overtime. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena.